What's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. Welcome back. Hope you all are having a great day today. I am doing just swell. I am exhausted. I am tired. I went to bed at like what? six o'clock i woke up at 10 to go to an eye exam it was it's it's been a day it's only four o'clock in the afternoon and my day feels it's it's, it's been stressful and the fun part is tomorrow is my last day of freedom and then i have school again on monday yay but anyways how y'all doing oh i need to talk about the builds oh this beautiful stupid ass build um i'm sorry if it looks like i'm taking too long to build this thing out um, the first 30 minutes, like, I, I, I was gonna edit it out, but I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna show you my struggle. So what happened was, my game is kind of broken. I think I have broken CC because, I don't know, the, the, the university update, whenever we got that university update, that's when I really started, like, getting my game broken. That's when my game really started to break. But anyways, um, I have some broken CC from that update, and it's still not fixed. And so now, I have, it happened to me multiple times. But I'll be, like, making a loft or I'll be, like, furnishing the upstairs of a building and then the walls turn invisible. Am I, like, the only one who gets this, like, who gets this uh, error? Because I tried to search it up on Google. Um, I tried to search it up on YouTube, see if anyone else is going through this problem. It looks like it's just me. So I still personally think that it's just some broken mods. So, oh, well. <laughs> I got really frustrated. I ended up, like, logging off the I ended up like leaving the world I mean leaving the lot coming back to the lot deleting the, the deleting the lot putting it back in the lot like deleting walls adding new walls and I just for a good like 20 minutes I was struggling and I got so annoyed like this is okay I'm struggling right now this is where I alone no, not yet not yet soon I'm, this is where I'm gonna start struggling very soon where I can't even like because what I wanted to do was um in the in the thumbnail you guys are gonna see there's like like in the kitchen there's a different colored wall and then also I started struggling with the windows because the windows supposed to be white and fun fact this build is actually supposed to be circular like the roofing is in a circle and the windows are in a circle but as you can see you cannot make circle like type of buildings well ex exteriors yeah you can make circle type of exteriors but inside it's got to be square so I could not make it circle so I had to like whatever i had to like skip over that part and then circle windows i don't got any circle windows at least circle windows that match the one they had so i was like you know i'm gonna use some squares so i had to use like these like three circle windows but then the thing is the windows need to be white and then <laughs> they didn't have the white color and it was in black so I was like you know what? i'm just gonna leave them in black and whatever but it always annoyed me because they need to be white you know so whatever so i moved on from that so you go know, these are the windows i end up choosing but then like i said they need to be white but they're black so i just i was like you know what whatever i'll keep it and then i guess this is when i started furnishing the bookshelf um for the first time i actually made a bookshelf and i actually finished furnishing it normally like I, i'll make the bookshelf and then i'll never like actually finish furnishing it i always like finish it half i always like i always like furnish it halfway and then i like cut the build but i actually finished furnishing this one and it looks pretty good pretty happy with the with the shelving but yeah so i guess this is where it, this, this is where like the annoying thing started to happening where i can't edit nothing I mean, at least wall wise i can't edit anything because i wanted to like fix it up and by the way um to get to this um to get to uh yeah this so this is where it, like it all starts going crazy so for the next like five minutes i'm just gonna be playing and going back and forth and fixing it and it's not gonna work and i got really stressed out and i got really pissed off because i wasn't about this and i was like it's half as me all the time and it's so annoying see i, I leave the world and i go back in it's it was a struggle. But anyway, so to get to this apartment, to enter this apartment, you have to enter through the bedroom, which is upstairs. So it's, like, lofted. But you get, to, like, honestly, I I don't know the layout of this place. I just saw this thing on Pinterest. I was like, I want to make it. I want to try it. Even though I know, I know I'm even though i going to butcher it, I want to try it, you know, for fun. <laughs> it looked cool. Uh, it had, like, this rustic vibe. And then I kind of added a lot of plants in it to make it earthy because I love plants. I, I love potted plants. I have, like, what, three in my room. I'm addicted to them. Um, but anyways, so I added that stuff in, uh, and to my surprise, I was like, I got no way to, like, I was like, I know what I was gonna do, I was gonna be, I was gonna make this, and you, I was gonna make this and be like, listen, I know I didn't add no entrance, so 
I want y'all to use your imagination and make one yourself because I got no clue. I was just so done. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make one. For, I was going to make an interest. And I was like, you know what? It, it's kind of bad even though because there's no privacy. Like you could be like snoring upstairs and then you're throwing a party. Well, no. You're throwing a party. That means your room has to be clean 24-7. I could never. But um, <laughs> I could never though. My room is messy like three days out of the week my room is a, is, is a, a total disaster but um anyways yeah there's that and then moving over from that situation this build is just struggling and i think at this part i could probably i should probably edit this part out but i'm gonna leave it because i don't know at this part i was on google like trying to search up ways to fix this and i couldn't find nothing so i had to come back and search it, like furnish it all over again and then i started adding in new walls and whatever you're gonna see it it's it was it was it was it was something else i was so annoyed i was so pissed off and because of that when i actually did and because of that since it started working again i started getting really distracted I don't know, like, I, I, I told you this before, but um, I have this thing called, I, I call it my own self. It's weird, but it's, I call it my creativity, my, my create me, my cre, bro, I cannot speak today, bro, I don't know what English is, because I, I don't speak it, but um, I call it my creativity meter, and when I start off builds, my creativity meter, well, sometimes, most of the time, it's like high bar, like, I'm excited, I love the builds, I'm excited to see how it comes out, you know, <sighs> She's yawn. See, I've been yawning like crazy lately. I don't know. I just I need I need some good sleep. I haven't had a good like a good night's sleep in a long time. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, I just I feel like sleep is just a waste of time. But then at the same time, I need it. I need it. I you know remember that episode of SpongeBob? He's like I need it when like he was in Sandy's playhouse and Sandy's house and there was no water and he's like struggling. Ugh, good times. But anyways, uh, yeah. So. What was I talking about again? Blah, 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 blah. What, what was I talking about again? I don't remember. I lost my train of thought. I have no clue what I was talking about. But to make a long story short, um, I was pretty much, my creativity meter just started going down every five minutes when I used to run into some trouble. And then I realized I didn't have the table I wanted. I was like, God dang it. And I, was, uh, I realized I didn't have the chair I wanted. I just realized that like the stuff in the picture, like I was halfway through this. I'm like, bruh, let's have two options. Because I don't have the CC that could work for this build. And I don't, I, like, I'm not going to go out and find it because that could take me like, a long time and I didn't feel like it so I don't know my creativity bar just like went down went down went down and then I was like, I think at one point I was like you know what I'm done I'm just gonna make it whatever I way I make it and if y'all don't like it then I'm sorry because I can't do anything about it I don't have the CC for it and so I did that and I ended up just I just, I just stopped looking at the picture of it and just I just created and did whatever um, but hopefully you guys do enjoy it I tried I think this build is mainly the layout, and I try to go with the kitchen, and I try to go with the little shelving part. But other than that, everything else, the CC just doesn't match up with, with the images. But it's okay, because I enjoyed this build, and I really... Okay, no, I enjoyed the beginning of it, but the end part... <sighs> Anyways, moving on from the build. I hope you all enjoyed that long description of nothingness. But I do want to go over here and give you all a shout-out, because I want to give you all a thank you, very big thank you. So the last part I came to you guys... Oh, oh yeah, I have to give a shout-out to somebody, so... My cousin, no, my sister's boyfriend has a YouTube channel. I promise him I'll give him a shout out. So his channel is, let me see, I have it right here. It's um the TFF family. He um they're prom they're 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 primarily located in Jamaica. Um, they do pranks videos and interview videos and questionnaires, and it's just a little. It's a, it's a pretty much a fun fun channel. So if you guys want to go ahead. And watch the videos. I'll link the description down. I'll link their video. Their, I'll link their channel down below for y'all to go check it out. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, back to the video. Um, back to this. So I wanted to give y'all a quick thank you because the last part I told you guys about me and my mom had a little bit of a scuffle. Scuffle. <laughs> had a little bit of a 
argument session where uh, me and my mom argue like every five minutes. But anyways, we had an argument, and I and we we think we we what happened was she came downstairs and we talked and I figured it out and we ordered everything off and everything ended up fine. But we kind of I kind of figured out like five minutes after the video's done. I feel I feel like I just needed to rant and just like like I said to you guys before. Um, when I was actually watching the video, when I was saying the video, I was like, maybe I just need to talk about it. When I talk about it, I'll realize. And then I kind of realized what my, what I was wrong in and what she, and her side of the story and where she was coming from. And then she came downstairs when we talked and then I, I really understood where she came from. And so I could, I kind of, we, 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 we hashed it out. It wasn't really that deep anyways. And we ended up ordering the stuff and it came today. It came yesterday actually. So everything was good in that sesh. In that segment but i will say though was that you guys gave me some prime on like some great advice and a lot of what you guys had to say was like on the dot and i really appreciate it and I'm, like honestly i love y'all i love the fact that i can come down here and rant about stupidness and just just rant to you guys about stuff that makes no sense to me and just get some prime advice and y'all give out some amazing advice and i and I, I just i just appreciate it i really appreciate it because i just know for a fact if i ever lost i got you guys you guys got my back and i just i just appreciate that i really do like that was that was really nice i appreciate all your um your words of wisdom i really do but um anyways anyways other than that that's pretty much it for this build i got nothing else to talk about um I do got some exciting news, but then, see, I'm iffy to tell you guys this. I'm very iffy to talk about this stuff because I feel like I'm bragging, and I don't want to come up as I'm bragging. I know you guys don't, I know a lot of you guys won't think of it that way, but I feel like when people, sometimes when people, YouTubers come and be like, oh my god, guys, I'm going on a trip to Dubai. It's going to be so awesome, and they talk talking about it. It kind of feels like they're bragging, and I know a lot of times they're not bragging, but it kind of feels like it, you know, and so I'm afraid to talk about stuff like that because I feel like I'm bragging, but I, I, like, I don't want to brag. I just want to share with you guys what's going on, you know, the excitement. It's like, it's like when you find out you're having a kid, you know, you want to share the excitement with everyone. But I guess the thing is different was from buying from buying a kid. No, not buying a kid from having a kid to like going on a trip is like some people can't afford. Well, people, some people can't afford kids or some people can't even have kids. Themselves. So I guess it's also I guess I guess it's a bunch of insensitive stuff. But anyways, I don't know. I just didn't want to like. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm I personally I told you this before this, but I was I will I was I was planning to to Korea and then I canceled it because like, you know, I have the money for it and just the timing and everything. But then I looked at so I woke up today and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm the type of person. I'm such a one of my biggest pet peeves of myself is I'm a I'm a I'm a, a spur of the moment type of person. By the way, if you're sitting there and you're saying this guy is making no sense, I know. I speak so bad. My English is terrible. I speak really fast sometimes and I mumble my words. So if you're sitting there and you're like, you make no sense, don't worry. You're not the only one. I'm pretty sure half of the people watching this make I make no sense to. And I am actually sometimes I speak backwards. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I speak backwards. Like I'll say the words in the wrong order. My like my friend, my no my friend, he's not my friend anymore, but my old roommate. <laughs> that was so shady. But my old roommate, he's not my friend anymore. <laughs> Oh jeez, I, 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 and I stutter a lot too. But um, <laughs> I have to tell you guys about my old room. I don't, I don't think you guys even remember. That's like that's an old video, but I have to talk about room again because oh the times, first year of college. Anyways, moving on. Uh, moving on from that. But yeah, I I have speech problems. I don't know what it is, but I maybe. I don't know, maybe it's lazy speaking, but yeah, I have problems with pronouncing things and speaking fast, and then I talk too fast sometimes and I confuse myself, so yeah, I just want to apologize for that and bear with me. If, you're, if I'm making no sense to you, then you're not the only one, but anyways, so yeah, I was told you guys that I was going to plan to go to Korea, but then I looked at my bank account, I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it, but then I, I just woke up today and I said, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a spur of the moment type of person, like, if I feel like do something at a moment, I'll do it. And so I woke up this morning and I said to myself, actually, I didn't even wake up this morning. I said that I was, I was calling in. I normally, what I do is cause I have this thing called kayak on my phone where you just, it just normally like you just go on there and it shows you like cheap prices. And I realized for the last two days that the prices for the tickets going to Korea has been going down and down and down. And I don't know, maybe that was a sign or maybe what happened, but today I went on it and it was, it was cheap. It wasn't like extremely cheap. It was like $50 less than the normal ticket price, which is not a lot, but that's a lot for me. And I don't know. I just, I was looking at it, I was looking at it, and then I started looking at the videos, and I was like, you know what, like, I'm gonna do it, because, um, after this, I'm on my last year of, um, schooling in general, I won't be going back to school after this, well, I don't, I don't know what the future has in store for me, but from what my thoughts are, yeah, so I'm not going to school after this, and so, 
I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it and go on this trip because I don't know what's going to happen next year or the year after that, you know? So I am officially going to Korea. I bought my tickets today. I'm super excited. But again, I didn't want to come in here because I feel like I'm sounding like I'm bragging to you guys, which I'm not trying to do. But I know you guys will understand. Well, hopefully, even if I do sound like a huge douche that's bragging, I thought that was my goal. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off this video here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this build. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. This is Peace Later. Love y'all. Have a great day. See y'all on Sunday. Bye, guys.